Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to my amazing unboxing with the twins. And if you know who I'm talking about, it is Mitzi and Melissa. Mitzi, who is Bells of Cotton, and Melissa, who is Pixie Dust and Peaches, are hosting this box swap. It is with an entire list of other amazing and quite honestly, humbling YouTubers. I'm very honored to have been chosen for this. I have my box in front of me. I'm gonna link below all of the other YouTubers that are involved in this. So make sure when you're done watching this, you go and watch their channels, show them some love. A lot of great people that I know you guys will enjoy. Cannot wait to open my box. I think I have a little bit of a hint of who it might be from, but I honestly don't know. So I'll tell you in just a minute. And I'm really excited that you're here. Okay, now before I get started, you need to know, and you probably do know, I don't do a lot of uh, box swaps. I did a couple really early on, but by and large, I just, um, they're, they're a lot of work and they're really a lot of work for the organizers. So I wanted to say to Mitzi and Melissa, oh my gosh, you guys have done such a great job. Everybody had like some shipping snafus because, you know, hashtag supply chain and they were just so gracious, worked with everybody. Um, I'm really excited about who got my box. I'll give you a hint. It was Mitzi. So go and watch her video if you want to see. Um, it was it was fun to be able to gift one of the people that had worked so hard for the unboxing. So yeah, we, we've been putting this thing together for months, literally. And um, I got one item and then the person that I was giving it to got that item in another box. And it's it's just been like not stressful, like happy and fun kind of stress. So I guess just excitement is what I would call it. Now I will tell you, I am wearing a little bow. This is from Target, because I know somebody's gonna ask. My sweet next door neighbors picked this up for me and she literally texted me, I thought you could wear it in a video. So Marissa and Colin and Max, if you guys are watching, I love my little Mickey Mouse hair bow. It has all the Halloween goodness mixed with all the Disney goodness, which is perfect for today's video. So let's get started. Let me just say too, it's always a little nerve wracking filming unboxing videos because I can't like do a do-over. Well, at least I never have. I suppose you technically could like put it back in the box and then pretend you're seeing everything for the first time. That's not how I like to roll. So it's more fun for me to really have it be an authentic reaction. But because of that, sometimes dogs or landscapers or whatever could interrupt. So, you know, just fair warning. There's no do-overs with this video. We're just gonna get right into it. I have blathered on enough. Except for to say, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. All right. Here's the box. Now, the reason I think I know who it's from is because it is from Anchorage, Alaska. And I have a friend that's in Anchorage, Alaska that was part of this. So when I first open it up, she has very graciously put a little gorgeous piece of cardboard here so that I didn't rip the heck out of the packaging when I opened it up. So nice job, whoever this might be from but I think I know. Ah, okay, there's a big card. It says, Jen, okay to read on camera. Always important to note. So let's dive right in. It says boo to you, boo to you, and boo to you, and boo, and boo, and boo, and boo, and boo. Happy Halloween. It is from who I thought it was from. Okay, it is from my friend Jessie, who is Miss Cherry. If you like her channel, if you love her channel, I know a ton of you watch her channel. She and I have actually never met in real life, but that is both of us. It is on our list of people we want to meet. Hi, Jen. Happy Halloween, friend. I was so excited to hear that I drew your name for the Twosome Gruesome Swap official name. I'll put it down here. <laughs> I love watching both of your channels and you're such a wonderful creator and inspiration. I hope to be like you someday. Oh, I mutual. Uh, with this box, I went for a full theme. It's definitely not so scary, but it's one of your faves, so I'm sure you won't mind. Okay. You're more than welcome to open the gifts in any order outside of gift number one. That is your Halloween costume. You don't have to wear it. It's just for fun. However, gift number one will also reveal the theme. Hope, we, hope you enjoy all your not-so-scary goodies. Happy Halloween and boo to you and you and you. 
Uh, love Jesse, AKA Miss Cherry. P.S. All the treats in the treat bags are the same, so no need to open them all on camera. All right. Well, let's see what we got in our box. So of course she has used some really cute tissue paper because uh, you know you gotta you gotta theme the thing up a little bit. That's always fun. And oh wait, I gotta find gift number one. Okay, here we go. Gift number one, your Halloween costume. Now, just from feeling it, both dogs are in here too, by the way. So they're, of course, they heard the tissue paper and they're like, sometimes that means candy. Okay, let's see what this is. This is my Halloween costume. <laughs> All right, you guys know, if you've heard me talk ever, about what Disney character do I think does not get the love that she deserves? It's Daisy Duck, everyone. Daisy Duck, who is the truth teller of the Disney gang, who is the one that sees things the way that they truly are. And like all truth tellers, she gets silenced. She gets pushed aside. She doesn't get included on mugs and hats and t-shirts. You know why? Because she's the truth teller and the truth tellers are never appreciated. <laughs> I, if this is the theme of this box, which she said it was, I am overjoyed. I think this is what I shall wear now every day of my life forever and for always. I will walk into Disney parks and I will make sure that they understand that our girl Daisy does not get enough love. How fabulous is this? Oh my gosh. I love it. So yes, I will be taking that on my Disney cruise, which is coming up. So more on that later. So if you're not subscribed, by the way, you want to go ahead and do that because yes, we have a Disney cruise coming up and there may be a night for wearing costumes. So yeah, that will be perfection. Thank you, Jesse. I could be done right now and just be happy as a clam. All right, then we've got, oh, I love these things. So one of these like decorative with the pumpkin and the wood beads. I don't know if there's a word for these, but you know what's so funny? Because when I did this little backdrop with the core memory candle, which by the way, that's the hap, ha happy, it's a happy haunt. It's the happy haunt. You can tell I'm getting excited about this box. Um, I'm just gonna kinda, is that how you do those? wonder if I could do it. Oh, that's kind of cute, right? Oh yeah, that really adds something. It almost looks like a little spooky snake. I'm loving it. All right, so here are my first little treats. Now, I think these are the ones that she said are all the same, so it's okay if I don't. Um, uh, Walter is very interested in whatever this is, so I have a feeling that it might be uh, edible, which is good. Ah! Okay, good. So what we have is some chocolate M&Ms, which are my favorite. So I'm very excited about that. Come here. You want to come up? No. He always gets like this. He acts like he wants to be on camera and then he's a diva. All right. So loving these M&Ms. Going to set those aside for later. This is fun. I love doing this. I love having like co-workers. Like that's really what the people on this list are. They're like my co-workers. All right. Um, this next thing says, yo ho, yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho. A pirate's life for me. Okay. Shut the front door. It is Daisy Duck dressed as a pirate. Now, how she found this? Oh, it's from Tokyo Disney Sea. Jesse, oh my gosh, I can not. Look at the detail on this thing. With the little velvet purple hat, she has little pearl arm armband. She's holding a jewel because of course she just got done doing a heist. She has a little tiny belt. She has three layers on her skirt. And please note, even down to the detail, like it's longer in the back. What? And she has a safety pin so you can like wear her as a pin. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut off the tag because we're, what am I gonna do? Go to Tokyo and return it, although. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Tokyo, but not to return this. 
And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and, and pin this on because it has a pin. This will be like my, my corsage, Jesse. This is my corsage for my unboxing. I feel like you and I are at a, a really special little daisy duck. Mm -hmm. ah. Now, she's probably to go like on a bag or something, but you know, I like her right there. Right there, where I can see her. Okay. Who needs a Christmas tree when you could have a Halloween tree? And I completely agree with you. Daisy agrees with you. What a weirdo that I just put that on, but it's making me happy. So you know what? That's kind of why I started a YouTube channel. So get on board, everybody else. <laughs> How did she find all this? Like, Jesse, you must have been like scouring the interwebs. This is Bewitching Daisy, A Year of Disney Magic, and it is a Hallmark keepsake ornament. This is like so considerate. Okay, let's see what we got here. I don't have a lot of Disney ornaments. I have a few, but I don't have a lot. Oh, she's so cute and like so perfect and delicate. How cute is she? With a pumpkin, blue little shoes. I love that her shoes don't exactly match her top. That's very much my style. They coordinate, but they're not too matchy-matchy. But then guess what? The purple matches the little rim on her bow on her witch's hat. Love. My only problem with this is that broom, just to clarify, is not for cleaning. It is for flying. It's a form of transportation, not a form of work. This is so fun. Okay, I probably should have put her up a little bit higher so you guys could see her better. Are you doing okay, Daisy? All right. The perfect cosplay accessory for Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween costume. <gasps> okay. So what was a little weird about this box swap was, y'all know I just came out with a whole video talking about how I don't really love lounge fly bags except for when they're like part of a costume. Like that's why I have my Sully one and I do have a couple that are specifically for that. So then I felt bad because not long after I put out that video, they reached out to me about this swap and, and they're all lounge fly collectors, everybody on this list. So I felt kind of bad, like I'm kind of a jerk. I didn't mean to say something mean about something that everybody, I don't wanna yuck on everybody else's yum, okay? Having said that, Okay. Okay. First of all, I, I haven't even undone the thing yet, but let me just say, I, I don't think it is a lounge fly. So that actually makes me even happier because I'm loving this shape. The shape is not the typical lounge fly shape. This is the front. Okay. That's fabulous. We love that. Hold please. What? This is the back. So we have Daisy and we have Donald. Daisy, Donald. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. I'm just going to open this up. Take off the paper. Okay. It is lounge fly, but it's a different, I have not seen this shape before. Maybe, maybe the people at lounge fly watch my video. I, I just, sorry. I looked over there. I was worried that Walter got some of the chocolate and I think you guys know this, but it's a good PSA since we're going into Halloween that dogs are um, allergic to chocolate. So don't give your dogs chocolate ever. Like it will kill them, that kind of allergic. You probably know that if you're a dog owner. Okay, so it's a lounge fly, but it's a very different shape than I have ever seen. And I'm kind of here for it. And it's like convertible too, because you could either wear it, like there's even a little description thing with it. Hold on. Okay, what did I literally just do with that description that was on there? I thought there was a little, oh yeah, there is, it's on here. So I feel like, so it's double-sided, yes. So it can also be a crossbody. Okay, so if you wear it like a backpack, right? You could wear it either with Daisy out or with Donald out, or you can unclip this and put just one of them over and it would be a crossbody. I cannot. That is amazing. And check out this pink bow. And then Donald, of course, has his little hat. Now I'm dying to see what the inside. And then it's got, of course, the lounge fly insignia. 
What? All right now I'm gonna open this up because I wanna see what it's like. I don't know, Loungefly might be going after my business. What do you think, Daisy? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, the inside has both Donald and Daisy in there and then there is a zipper pocket inside. Okay, and it is actually, I think it's a pretty decent size. And it's it's like not as stiff as a lot of the other Loungefly backpacks. Jesse, you did so good, girl. Oh my gosh. So our goal then, I'm throwing down the gauntlet to you, Jesse, Miss Cherry, that we are going to meet at Walt Disney World or Disneyland. I could go either direction. And I am going to wear this backpack because it is, okay, hold on, hold on. You know I have to do this now, right? So there we go. Um, and look, it's, it's like Daisy and I are twins. <gasps> it's like we're identical twins. Okay. You guys, I have not had anything to drink. I swear to you, it is like 1130 in the morning. And I am so happy right now. Not that you have to drink to be happy. I just thought maybe if you're new here, you thought, is she on something? No, this is just how I am. All right, next package says these, how, why is she giving me so much stuff? This is unbelievable. These were made especially for you by the Etsy shop Grace Rose, which is ears and bows. I will link them below. So if when I open these, Jesse has impeccable taste. So I have, Love this. I will be wearing this a lot in the coming weeks. Um, hi. Now, my only question is, Jesse, this, is this too much? <laughs> I don't think so. I think this is very subtle. I think this, this could play anywhere. It's a neutral. This is the little black dress of Walt Disney World headgear and bag combination. Clearly, clearly. Okay, we gotta look at these ears. Okay, we gotta, let's let's look at these. Okay, so first of all, this is like fur. Obviously faux fur, but it's like a rug, right? Super cute. These are all glittery. And look at the dimension on those. And then you've got these pearls on the end. And then this bow is like a burlap linen fabric and then the yellow around, and then they're lined on the inside. These are gorgeous. Very, very well made and just, hmm. Oh, I'll see you guys. I have to go smash some patriarchy. I'll be right back. BRB, gonna go smash the patriarchy. Don't you feel that Daisy Duck would smash the patriarchy? Sorry. Anyway, all right, next up we have for that Disney fun money. Disney fun money. What could it possibly be? I know what it is. I mean, I know what it is. I don't know what. Mm -mm. All right, so it is, she gave me a backpack and she gave me a wallet. Girl, too much, too much. And not only is it an adorable wallet, but it's different. It's like she knew that I don't necessarily always love the same old, same old as far as like shapes when it comes to lounge fly. And I realized I've got some of Daisy's ear hair on my, <laughs> you know, it's fine among girlfriends. Um, I don't always love the same shapes with, from lounge fly. So this is very different than any other lounge fly wallet that I have because it's actual like linen fabric instead of being like the shiny vinyl. I love that. Okay, the other thing I'm loving is we have a snap and it fully opens up, okay? So I have room for all my cards. When I am out in my life, I have a lot of cards, right? Because I have a Costco card and my Target card. And now this will even fit, I think, my vaccination card. I think, I think that will fit in there without having to bend it. Um, so for traveling, but also just for every day, super cute. And also such a style icon. She is such a style icon. How could anyone keep this girl off a mug or a t-shirt or a hat? I'm looking at you, 
Disney. Um, and then on the inside, you've got this cute little pink detail. This is open, which again, when you're at Disney, you do have to show your photo ID a lot for discounts. And you know I'm all about the discounts. And then the inside, you've got this big um, bill fold right here. And that actually looks big enough for British bills too. Not that I'm going to the UK anytime soon, but you know, you never know. And you've got a coin purse. And a lot of times I find the, lo the lounge fly wallets don't have a coin purse and I like having a coin purse. So that just makes me oh so happy. Oh my gosh, Jesse. I can't believe there's still another box in here. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, this says ready one, two, three. This was inspired by your ballet journey. I think the reason this is like getting me so emotional is it's so obvious as, an, as I'm opening these things that she like knows me. And she really took the time to pick out things that she knew that I would love. That, because I, we filled out a questionnaire, but y'all, I'm telling you right now, I didn't say any of this stuff on the questionnaire. Like, I'm always super vague on those things because I want the person doing the gift giving not to feel like they're pigeonholed. And I know sometimes that's not terribly helpful, um, but I feel like she just really took so much care and so much time with this. And it's just, I don't know, it's precious. Okay. So. open this up. It says Mickey and Friends, the gift of laughter. Mm. Okay, I cannot wait. Okay, let's oh, see what that is. That says, let the music move you. Get on your toes to dance. Uh -uh. I have nothing, by the way, that is ballet and Disney. Nothing. I own nothing. I never have. I've been on my journey with ballet since I was three years old and I've never owned a Disney ballet. Except for I do now. She's perfection. Like perfection. Look at her. She is in a little releve. She is you know who would love this? Catherine Morgan would love this. If y'all don't follow her on YouTube, she's a ballet person. She just recently got engaged at Disneyland. This, like, I've never even heard, is it, what brand is this? I feel like maybe I've heard of this brand before. Oh yeah, I've heard of this brand before because it's a Nesco, a Nesco group. It's called, the figurine is called Too Too Cute. T-U-T-U, Too Too Cute. And her face and her style, and it is remarkably like what I look like when I'm doing ballet, actually. <laughs> Jesse, this is beautiful. Just, I mean, how, I'm going to take her little tag off. Those of you that are true collectors are probably like, don't take that off. I'll put it somewhere safe, but I don't want the tag around her neck. How perfect is she? Oh my goodness. If you turn her that way, that is like the perfect angle for her. She's just turned exquisitely. Jessie, 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 13 out of 10, as they say on We Rate Dogs. This is so considerate, so kind, so lovely, so many like really high-end quality things that I, I'm trying to think like which one is my favorite. Well, that's not hard. This is definitely my favorite and for obvious reasons. From a like, wow, I didn't know I wanted that and I really did standpoint, it's, it's gonna be this because that's just amazing and I adore it. Um, my obviously the highest quality item and the one that everyone will want for years to come is this. Um, so I need to put that in a special place because come on. Um, the ears are, I mean, I've never seen ears like this before, just all of it. It's just all beautiful and lovely and it showed care and consideration and I'm just blown away. This has really made my day. So make sure you go watch all the other videos. I mean, if you watch all of them today, you're probably not going to get anything else done, but that's okay. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the other channels. 
make sure you go watch um, Mitzi's unboxing in particular, because that's one that I picked out and I'm very happy with it. Uh, but watch all of them. Give them all some love because all these ladies, ladies are lovely. And I really loved um, working with all of them, getting to know some of them a little bit more through the giveaway and or through the unboxings. And yeah, like I don't even have good words now. So I'm going to let you go, whatever you're doing today. I hope you're being really good to each other. Oh, and a huge thanks again to Mitzi and Melissa for putting this thing together. You guys were amazing. And again, just thank you for letting me be part of it. And of course, thank you to Jesse, who is Miss Cherry. Love you, girl. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.